Welcome back to Giving Chances Farm. Uh, today, we're going to try and get uh, caught up on a few chores I've been meaning to get to and just kind of been setting them off to the side. So one of those chores has been cleaning out the lean-to and moving it. Um, when we first built this lean-to, uh, we actually had horses at the time. So it's 12 foot by 12 foot and then um, seven foot on the back end of it and eight foot up in the front. So um, as you probably noticed in yesterday's video, uh, the lean two actually does have a little bit of a lean to the front of it. And that is because um, I think it was last year I moved it and faced it a little bit more east than I normally do and that actually bit me in the rear because uh, the wind actually came straight out of the east that day and stood this thing up on its back. So we came out here it was standing up on its back and actually had a cow standing on what should have been the back wall. So when I lowered it back down at the time. Um, I used a tractor and some chains, pulled it back over. When I did that, it kind of shifted the front end just a little bit. Um, so when I go digging the rest of this floor out so that I can actually move this, because actually this has, uh, it's kind of hard to see because it's buried right now, but over here where this shovel is at, there's actually a six by six runner underneath both side walls on this. Um, that way I can hook up to it with a chain around the front post and uh, pull it. Um, but if you notice, the front end of this is now bowed out. That two by six is bowed and it's actually starting to split down at the bottom. So what my plan is to do, I actually have, uh, it's an old metal fence post. Um, at one time, I think it was like a, it might even have been a pole for like a light or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it initially was, but it had a mounting plate on one end of it. And I actually had a couple of those. So um, dad had me measure the inside from the six by six to the other, uh, six by six there in the front end he cut the post to length welded them together and made those mounting plates so what i'll end up doing at some point here uh, whether we get it done today or if all we get is this cleaned out at least uh, so i'm going to use the dirt that's in here and fill in some of the holes that we have uh, between this and the gate area where the cows tend to kind of hang out this time of year and every time we come out the door they think it's time to get some other kind of treat or food um so they're spoiled uh, between us and the girls from time to time bringing out um alfalfa cubes in our pocket or sometimes they get access to um like the ends on the loaves of bread uh, apples, things like that, that we'll bring out as treats. So they kind of, like most farms, they congregate around the gates. So uh, we'll do what we can to get this cleaned up today. It's a little bit soft out here, so I'm a little. I started out digging it a little bit uh, with just a spade shovel and a wheelbarrow, but you know, 12 foot by 12 foot and more than six inches deep i don't really know that i want to do that all day long versus you know getting the drill out here remove that front board and uh get the loader in here since it's you know it's a five and a half foot bucket and all i'd have to do is sit on the tractor and pull a lever so if we can get that done without digging in too much to the mess in front of it then we will um, but we'll see how it goes um, 
basically we'll just kind of adapt and overcome how how things play out with uh i don't want to tear the pasture up too much we did end up getting a little bit uh moisture last night i wouldn't necessarily call it rain uh just enough to kind of make things a little sticky on top today so there's a little bit of mud right here in front of the door so we'll see what we can do and we'll show you as we go along leveled out and I actually relocated it over there that's actually where it, the first time we put it together that's where it was at um, then we ended up moving it down here because this big tree used to shade that area so bad that it stayed wet inside of the wing tube so now that 
tree's gone. We moved it down so that we can safely get the other three trees out of the fence row without it coming down on top of the lean to. So, uh, as you can see from the entrance, we ended up taking that 2x6 off the front of it and installed the pipe that my dad had put together and uh, we ended up running carriage bolts all the way through that uh, six inch board on the bottom so or well five and a half inch whatever uh, the runner for the bottom and then I ended up putting uh, a couple two before a braces up in the top front corners to try and bring the lean to back up to being a little bit more square than what it was because our lean to actually had a pretty good lean to it so uh, we tried to straighten that up as I moved it uh, the only problem we kind of run into moving it over there was the tree root from that tree and the way that that tree was pushing on that one T post right there um, I was paying attention to the root and then when I stopped for the root to get a board so I could actually use it as a ramp to get across the top of the uh, root, we noticed that that T-post was slanted in so much it was still going to catch the side of the lean-to. Um, when I tried to work on getting the lean-to turned, I was right in the muddy area there, so I had minimal access without really tearing it up a lot. So we ended up drilling it right there where it was at and putting the pipe in and then everything moved like it was supposed to. Because um, otherwise that 2x6 had too much flex in it. The whole lean-to was kind of twisting and turning instead of just pulling over there where it should have. So, But it's moved for now. And we'll see when we have to move it again. The only thing I got left to do to it is... Uh, I still need to get the corners on there. I never did get the corners and the piece that comes around the top of the edge for the roof. Um, when it was originally built and it was built for the horses, um, I had bought all the material and then I was injured um, at work and ended up having to have surgery on my arm. So my dad and my brother and one of my buddies come by and got it put together so that we could get it out here and then you know, once it's up and being used, it kind of gets tossed to the back of the list. Other things are a little bit more pressing sometimes, and I just hadn't had a chance to get back to it. Um, so today, I just got sick of pushing it off and decided we were going to do it because I actually it was not on the plans for today. But when I come out here and I seen it again, I was just enough is enough. So. We dealt with it today and all day because like most things around here they it should have because actually we had it moved and the ground cleared uh within an hour and a half or so but dealing with trying to get everything aligned and drilled over there where the ground wasn't level and me trying to get the pipe into the place took about the same amount of time as it did to get it over there so hope everybody enjoys the videos don't forget to like and subscribe share on social media with all of your family and friends uh, if you missed yesterday's video we had a new baby heifer calf born uh, she's doing great mom's still doing great so check out that video we'll tag it and uh, we'll see you on the next one have a good day